What's up, peeps? How goes it? It is a rainy day here, kind of cold. It was supposed to snow last night. It didn't drop down. The temperature didn't drop cool enough. But this is a video that's going to be kind of like a mullet haircut. Business in the front, party in the back. So this first part of the video is going to be for the people that want to hear what I'm talking about with heaters. And then the rest of the video will be about you know, my normal video vlogs. And I've done heater videos before, but we're going to do a 30 day review on the Mr. Buddy heater, uh, right here. And the fan that I use on it right here. And also I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my diesel heater right here and how I use all of those in different situations, you know, use both heaters in different situations, or sometimes I use both. And we're going to talk about safety with the buddy heater and the diesel heater. Uh, so it's that time of year for you, all you van lifers. Um, if you're new to van life, you know, winter is a, is a tough time in van life. It, it always is. I mean, if you were wanting luxury, van life probably wouldn't be for you. Uh, I mean, it probably, you know, it, you can't have everything just perfect. I mean, you could, I mean, but most of us that jump into van life are, uh, on the financially strapped side, or, you know, we don't want to spend that much money to be like it is to have that perfect temp. Uh, so today on the buddy heater, I want to tell you guys, <clears throat> I've had it for about 60 days now. And, um, the big difference in that buddy heater was having that wood heating fan on it right here. That made a total difference. It's a game changer with that heater. I used the buddy heater, as you can see right here, I don't know if you can tell, but my back door, I keep it open about this far, even when it's really cold, because I like fresh air. Um, that buddy heater uh, keeps it toasty warm up front. Um, if it is really cold, I go ahead I don't usually sleep with the buddy heater on. I turn my diesel heater on at night, the buddy heater on during the day when I'm up and about. Um, uh, I have also a carbon monoxide detector. I have smoke detectors in here. Um, and I've never had an issue with it. But you got to have ventilation and circulation. We've talked about this before in videos. I have a fan hanging right here. You can't see it by my phone, which is bringing fresh air from the back to the front. And my buddy heater sits up front. My diesel heater sits in the back here. Now, the thing with the diesel heater, it is the best heat ever. It's a dry heat. But here's the deal with it. I'm plugged in. Where I park at all the time, I'm plugged in. So I have a house battery, a Renogy 100 amp hour battery with a battery charger on it. And so when I'm plugged in, I use my diesel heater mostly. You can't run the battery down because it's got a charger on it. I don't have the the solar to support the diesel heater uh, if I wasn't unplugged. Therefore, I have the buddy heater as the backup. But also, I use the buddy heater when it's really cold. I use both heaters. Like, uh, it got down to 27 the other night. And I kicked on the buddy heater on low up front with that fan. It kept the front dry and warm. Uh... Well, it kept the front warm. Now, the buddy heater, you're going to have condensation, but this diesel heater, it's dry heat. So, uh, if it's really cold, I'll have both on. But the number one thing to remember, circulation and ventilation. I have this door open. I have a front window cracked this much up front and a side window cracked this much. Um, so, it stays, uh, you get fresh air in here all the time. But I will not complain about that buddy heater with that fan on there. It shoots out the heat so well. It's a wood stove fan. Um, you just set it on a wood stove and the heat makes it generates it to work. Same thing with the buddy heater. Um, uh, I'll show you guys here in a minute. Uh, same thing with the buddy heater. Uh, it, that fan sits on it and uh, I have it tied with a wire on top of it and it just rolls the heat right on out. Uh, so you can see it right here. But yeah, that was a game changer for the buddy heater having that fan. Um, I have the buddy heater hooked up to a 20 pound, uh, propane tank, not the little green ones, but the 20 pound tank. And I have it set up front, uh, by my door on the step part of the step van. I have it set up front on my door. Um, and, uh, always check your connections if you're using that. I have a bottle of soapy water. Anytime I connect it or unconnected, I, I, uh, spray that water on there and make sure there's no leaks. That is an important thing to do. 
Um, but yes, uh, I will, I will give the buddy heater and that fan a hundred percent, uh, rating. Uh, I've had it, like I said, for two months and it's done wonders. Um, I try not to sleep with it on, even though I have the door open because it is, I, I just don't want the cats to knock some, I don't keep anything by it that could catch fire, but I, I just worry what if they're being crazy and drag something in front of it and it catches fire. So I try not to sleep with it on. I use that in the daytime and at night I use my diesel heater unless it's really cold. I use both. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to touch base with you guys on, today on heaters. Um, so if you're new to van life, I hope this helps. Uh, you know, the best way to go, I'm telling you, I don't have this, but is an actual Wabasto heater. I mean, if you got the funds to pour into that, that's the best way to go. But this diesel heater, awesome, awesome. The best $156 I ever spent. I've had it two winters. No problems with it. I have the all-in-one diesel heater, uh, <clears throat> as you can see right here. So no complaints and no complaints on the buddy heater. Uh, both used at the same time and sometimes one used in the day and one used at night. Uh, but anyway, so on with the video, guys. And thank you, any new subscribers or new people stopped in here. Don't forget to push that subscribe button. I do a lot of vlogs uh, and stuff th about van life. So be sure and check it out. Subscribe. Be well. Smash that bell. All right, let's get on with the vlog. I'm not moving very fast today, as you can tell. But also, let me show you something. And once again, he's not helping. Wipe all this down. I still got to make my bed. None of you guys are helping today, are you? No. None of you help with anything. You just help mess it up. Spraying everything down with a little bit of vinegar water. Wiping it all down. Ugh. I didn't do a whole lot yesterday. Um, and I spilled some water on my stove right there this morning. Wasn't paying attention. Look at that. A lot of water. Dang. There we go. I think we got it. And wiping everything down. I think I'm going to do something simple for dinner tonight. Maybe some eggs and hash browns or something like that. With some onion, bell pepper. We'll see. Just a one pan thing. But eggs sound good today. Look at all that rain out there. Holy moly. Let's go up here and look. Oh yeah, it's just pouring. I'm going to need pontoons pretty soon to float away. Holy moly, that is just one giant mud hole out in front of me. Crazy. Look at that horde of zombies. Holy moly. <laughs> this game is fun to play sometimes, I tell you. You can get involved in it and play for hours. That's what's so cool about watching this game. I like watching stuff go on out in the wilderness. This is called the wilderness. Let's see, there I am. I've got lines coming into me. That's why my screen is flashing red. And here they come. That is a bunch of zombies right there. Look at that. Woo! This is a big alliance that I'm in. So when they cut loose the horde, a lot of zombies come. Anyway, just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of the game. We'll talk to you in a bit. What's up, guys? I just got done with dishes, putting all the dishes away. I think I'm just going to make a sandwich with a salad, not grill the sandwich. I am hungry. I haven't ate today. It's 4 o'clock. I need to eat something. <clears throat> and that just sounds good. A little mayo, a little chicken, and some cheese, and a salad. I think that'll work. So, I hope you guys are having a great time getting ready for Christmas. This video probably won't be up till Sunday. I'm making this my long video for the week. It's been so hard to upload stuff, like I was saying. Um, so, I'll, I'll, I'll start uploading this video on Friday or Saturday. And then, you guys will see it Sunday. And um, I hope to get to see you guys live on Christmas. I miss see, spending time with you. But between being sick and bad internet, it just hasn't been a good time for YouTube, I'll tell you. Quick dinner tonight. Good news, guys. Well, first good thing is I just got out of the shower. But before I took my shower, after dinner, before I took my shower, I got the line run from uh, 
for the ethernet. Uh, so I will be able to go live on Christmas. Uh, I'll go live at six, my normal time, which is right before Paula of Van Vita travels. Um, so, but I'll go live about 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And then Paula goes live at a seven. So I'll be able to say hi to you guys on Christmas and uh, spend some time with you. I can't wait. This video will come up on Sunday. So you've already seen me before this video comes up. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm not gonna keep you on here much longer. I gotta get this edited and loaded. Uh, so I'm excited I get to do a live. Uh, if I have time between now and then, I might do a pop-up live and say hi to everybody because I have missed you guys so much. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, I'm happy with that. I am totally happy with having that. The internet woes of van life, I tell you. You know, and, and when you're a YouTuber, you really need that internet. I mean, like when I was on the Oregon meetup trip, it was like <clears throat> I had good service so I could upload my videos when I was going there. You know, once we got to the campground, there was no service, but where I park at, there's not good cell service. And like, I can play the video game, but it'll spin a lot. And even Netflix spins so much that you can't watch anything. YouTube spins, um, but now I've got internet out here so I can catch up on videos, catch up on some stuff on Netflix, and uh, you know, just do the everyday thing. All right, guys. Like I said uh, earlier in the video about the heaters, stay safe and warm out there. You know, and if you're starting your van life, look at all your options. I hope those couple of op options help you. Um, and thank you for hanging out with me, sticking there, watching the videos. And sorry I've missed the lives, but hey, we're back on track now. And uh, by the way, I am feeling better. Uh, I'm over the little flu bug or whatever it was I had. Uh, so yeah, hanging in there. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace out.